Okay, what we're going to do here is I'm going to walk you through how to get into your dashboard of your WordPress blog and, and create blog posts and customize your blog a little bit. So uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is typically you've got your website right here. So this one is davesbizadventures.com. So in order to go to his dashboard, the back end of the site, what you need to do is you need to type in the website address and then forward slash WP admin. That's going to take you to the login. So what I do is I always do that in a separate tab so I can reload and, and check my changes out right, right next to it. So you want to do it in a separate tab over here. Not a separate window, but a separate tab. Much easier to go back and forth. So um, when I do that, davesbizadventures.com forward slash WP admin, it takes me to this page here. So I'm already there and I want to log in. So I'm going to log in. hopefully okay so here's my dashboard now the first thing I'm gonna do is go over how to write a post because that's really the most important thing so this is a WordPress blog and whether WordPress whether you have a WordPress website landing page sales page blog it's all uh, WordPress is one big content management platform. So the the back end is pretty much the same. So whether you, you just you know create pages or you create posts. So this situation, I can either do the drop down here and do add new, or I can just click on posts, and it'll take me to the posts. And I've got a little sample one there. Let's do add new, and it's going to be uh, how to. Uh, run a profitable business. Okay, so Dave's a business coach. So, title the blog, and remember that's really the most important part, especially if you're trying to go after uh, search terms. You want to make that that to header title uh, really relevant to your keyword. But okay, so now we can uh, create our blog post using the WYSIWYG editor or just using straight HTML. And WYSIWYG is one big acronym that stands for what you see is what you get. So basically all it is is it's, it's like a mini little uh, word little platform here where I can, uh, you know, customize. So I can, I can uh, put a header in here that says um, uh, step one. Step one. So what I can do is highlight that. I can go to, you know, heading one. Or I could go to heading two, and you'll see once it's you know live on the page what they really look like. Sometimes they look a tiny bit different with the headers because sometimes they'll be all capitalized. But so you can do a lot of that stuff. You can change those. You can change the color, underline, bold, italic, uh, you know, order, numbers, uh, indentation, lots of things. So. Sometimes though when you pull up this first you might only see one row here You want to make sure and click this right end here. It's called uh, Show or hide the kitchen sink. It just shows the rest of your options here for customizing. So make sure you do that HTML I'll get into in a second, but that is whatever you do Under the WYSIWYG, which is what you see is what you get kind of like a word doc. It turns it into HTML and so h2 see it's it was an it was a header h2 header but and if you want to like uh encode a video or put a encode a video or uh an opt-in form like an email form that you put your name and email in you can just copy the code from the other website and just paste it right into here as long as you have html picked so you have to do html you can't use visual if you're going to be posting any code from another website so Another thing you can do is insert video, audio, photo. So I could insert an image right here. And I can choose it from the URL if it's an image on that URL host or uh, the media library if I've already uploaded it to my WordPress. You can actually host images inside your WordPress blog. So some uh, different things that you're trying to do out there want an image, and they but they want the image as a link a URL and it's kind of like I don't some people don't understand that 
how, how is an image a URL? Well, if you upload the image to the media library in your WordPress platform or, or if you use one of the online uh, directories like Flickr and stuff like that, it actually gives it a URL. And if you type in that URL, boom, it just pulls up your image on one blank page. So it's pretty cool. But um, that's kind of digressing. So I'm going to select a file from my computer. Uh, let's see here. How about let's do that one looks pretty good. Not right here. Now when you upload an image, the cool thing about WordPress is you've got a title, alternate text, caption, description, and a link URL. So I can link it to any website address I want. You know, if I want to just put the home address in case they click on it, then we can do that. You can leave it blank if you want. But what this means is it'll make that image clickable. So when they put the mouse over it, and it'll take them to whatever site you put in here. Um, over here, a title, an alternate text, caption, whatever you put in there, it's not going to show up on your website. The only, the, the, the great reason about doing this is the Google spiders that are out there crawling the websites, trying to figure out who's the best and who should rank the highest, they can read that. So the Google spiders cannot read images. So you could have this highly relevant image, they don't see it. But if you title it the right way and put a description on it, you know, kind of the same keyword over and over kind of deal, then that will help a little bit with your uh, search engine optimization. So now we can insert it, alignment. Let's do uh, center. And you can even change the size right here. And then I'm going to hit insert into post. And there's my image right there. If we were doing this in a straight HTML site, it'd be a lot more complicated to center an image and and move the text below it and stuff like that. So this is this is pretty cool. So over here is where you uh, select the category that you want your post to belong to. And you can add categories right here. So you don't have to be at like the main category menu. Sometimes it's easier to do it this way. Um, I can add a category, say, uh, business tips. And that's a new category. I just made it. And this post is going to be part of that category now. So I'm going to publish it, but I'm not going to publish it yet. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to embed a video into a post or a page. It's the same process if you're uh, doing a, doing a uh, creating a page on a website. So let's actually, and we'll leave the image there. Let's just enter down get it down a little ways. So it's kind of out of the way. So now I'm going to go to YouTube and grab an image. Grab a video, sorry. Uh, let's just go to my site. And let's click uh, on this video here. Let's take this one. And we are going to this button right here, embed. So we're gonna get video embed code. All we do is copy and paste. Super easy. Uh, Control C, Command C for Mac. You can use your menu bar, go to edit, copy. And then down here you have a couple choices. If you want, you can resize it right here because it'll actually keep the same ratio. Notice how it's 640 by 390 right now. Uh, when you shrink your video, if you wanna fit it, if you wanna make it a little bit smaller, for a different website or something like that, you kind of want to try to keep the same aspect ratio, you know. So that so if you've got a, a skinny person and you and you don't change the aspect ratio the right way, all of a sudden they look fat. So you want to make sure and uh, or the opposite and keep that the same. And uh, whether you have to use a calculator or just right down here, you can pick some different sizes. But these are or custom, um, but. And then all of these here, you want to make sure these are all unchecked, okay? Include related videos. You don't want related videos because you don't want somebody clicking on a video on a website that you want to promote something about yourself. And then at the at the end of the video, it shows up all these different videos that are kind of similar. So that they click on one that takes them off your page. So you want to leave all of these unchecked. So all I'm going to do is just copy this, Command C, since I have a Mac, uh, back to the post. But we have to go to HTML. So go to HTML, 
got all these header tags in here because I uh, entered down a million times. So let's just delete these, actually. Um, so now what I'm going to do, see all the code there, is I'm just going to hit, I'm going to paste it right in. And we'll, we'll keep it the same size just for the heck of it. And let's hit publish. And let's go back to the site and reload. There it is. How to run a profitable business. There's my video. Boom. Now, if we go back to the post, we can change the size. Let's change it to 540 by 3, I don't know, 50. Uh, and then let's put some text above it. Let's go up here. And we're still on HTML. If I wanted to, I can go back to visual. Sometimes it's kind of tough to get your cursor in there, though. You notice that I can't really squeeze it in there. So you might have to go to HTML until you start typing. And then you can always go back to visual to see what it looks like. So let's do uh, Keith really is not cool. Okay, so if I hit visual, now I've got my text there. Um, ah, I might have actually screwed it up by hitting visual before I saved it. I did, I actually deleted the, uh, the video embed code. How weird. Got to be careful sometimes going back and forth until you save it. So I'm going to copy that again and I'm going to edit the paste right below the text. Let's hit update. Let's go back to the post. Now I've got Keith is really cool right above it. And Keith is really not cool. <laughs> and it's just regular text. If I wanted to, I could, you know, hit put H1 or H2 around it. Or I could just go back to visual and highlight it and go to let's do video is kind of hiding it but heading one there it is update there now so it showed the photo for some reason when I do the header h1 it's kind of screwing things up a little bit but it's not really normal um, put back in that uh, video there and I now I notice how it's got h1 around the quote h1 h1 that's the header h1 so it'll I know it's gonna look right just by knowing a tiny bit of HTML from learning it you know so Keith really is not cool um, okay so now uh, let's see here if you want to add a page it's the same thing. Basically, you add a page and you do it really similar way as a post. Go here and add that. Um, and then, once you add a page, let's go back to the uh, appearance and menus. Um, let's put let's put uh, business strategies. So publish, and then now I'm going to go to the menu and make sure because we might we might not want this to show up on the menu, but we might want to. So it depends. It might be something that maybe we're doing a training and we only want people to be able to access it from an email. So we might not want it up on the header, but for this one we want it up on the header. So now we're on the um, menu bar. I, I'm I'm the menu, not the header. Sorry. So uh, here's our our menu items right now, and I just added uh, business strategy. So I'm going to I'm going to click that and I'm going to add to menu. So that's it. Now it's right here. If I want to change the order, I can just drag it up here, do that. If I want to make it a drop down part of another menu, all I got to do is just bring it in and kind of indent it, which is pretty cool. So now see how free trainings is there and then business strategies. Let's hit save and see what happens. So let's go back to this page. Free trainings and there it is business strategies underneath there now so if I do this now it's its own hit save reload and there it is business strategies so easy ways to add menus um, we've got your categories down here on the right side so as you add posts you'll you'll put put them in the right category and then they'll just start this thing will start filling up with the different categories that each posts go under so 
Um, let's see here. Some of the, uh, if you want to change the layout, uh, you can do that. I, I really wouldn't suggest that without, you know, talking to somebody like me first, but you can go to flex layout and you can actually change your, your basic layout here and add some more content. If you want to add three widgets uh, below or maybe three widgets or two widgets above your main content, this could be, widget could be a, I mean, kind of an item like a, uh, an image that clicks somewhere, like uh, free training. Here it could be uh, testimonials. Here it could be something else. It can be basically anything. A widget can be any kind of code. It can be a code uh, from a video. It can be an opt-in, email opt-in form. It can be just an image. It can be just text. It can be anything you want, basically, a widget. So... Uh, let's see here. We're not going to go into the contact page. Facebook share. Um, one thing that's really important is you want people to share your posts. So they can be on here right now, and I can just click share right there. Boom, and it takes me right to my Facebook page because I'm already logged in. And I can share that post uh on my Facebook page, and you want people doing that. Create social proof. Same thing with Twitter. It's going to take me right to Twitter. Let's see here. Okay, I'm going to stop here since it's pretty basic. I want you to get the basics, and so you can just at least, at least get some content out and start posting blogs and, and videos and, and stuff like that.